So today we're gonna to look at one of our more common evergreen trees in Colorado in the Front Range, and that's this tree here, which is Pinus ponderosa or ponderosa pine. distinct characteristics about this particular pine other than it's absolutely everywhere and where it grows but we're gonna look at the needles the cones and in particular the bark of the species so the first thing we're gonna look at is the cones now in this case the cones are totally mature you can see them just here these are this year's cones getting ready to develop a really distinctive part of ponderosa pine cones along with the size, which is about like anywhere between fist size to half fist size, is the armor on them. Those little tiny hooks that we can see are a really distinct part of this particular pine. So the next part that we're going to look at are the leaves of this tree. Now in pines, leaves are a particular sort. They're called needles. So in this case, with pines in particular, the different bundles of needles have different amounts. In the case of ponderosa pine, the bundle has two needles in it. And those needles, the term for the collecting point where those needles meet at the base of the stem, is called the fascicle. And around that is what's called the fascicular sheath. The last feature that we'll be looking at is the bark of the tree. Now, in this case, ponderosa pine bark is actually one of the more unique types of bark. Part of the reason for it is it comes up in these very jigsaw puzzle-like pieces. And the reason for that is the way that it's evolved with the landscape. In particular, ponderosa pine has evolved from fire, particularly low-grade fire. So these small jigsaw puzzly bits of bark are designed to come off, to not only insulate, but then come off with a little bit of light fire touching the tree. And finally, one of the last identifying features of ponderosa pine is the way that the bark smells, which unfortunately smell o vision has yet to be invented, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. It's the most heavenly vanilla butterscotch smell that you've ever smelled. So the last thing that you want to do to identify your ponderosa pine is stick your nose right in there and take a deep breath. 